All right, you know they say Hayawi Hayawi. Pasta Kwayu. Hayawi Hayawi. Huwa. Honestly. Hayawi Hayawi Huwa. All right, so thank you so much for for joining us and staying with us. This is Friday Briefing and this is our guest Anka segment. I miss this. All right, so in studio with me tonight is a team from uh, Ride 47. It's an amazing initiative and we'll be getting to hear more about it. But before then, let's just get to hear who these people on my set are. They've invaded my studio with some <laughs> super bikes here. So I'll start from Kivenji, just look into the camera. Your moment of fame is here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my name is Kimathi Kitenji and I'm an adventure motorcyclist. And um, we are riding Ride 47 to raise funds to educate needy children. All right, well put. Yeah. Pastor Korir. Hi, my name is Pastor Nick Korir. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm an adventure motorcyclist also. I'm also a pastor, and I love the young people of this country. All right. Yes, yes my, name, <laughs> my name is Daniel Mutunga, or Danzo, as better, better known. Um, I'm an IT guy, and uh, we love riding. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, like uh, Pasi likes to say, we've put purpose to our passion. Oh, yeah. lovely. In, yes. IT guys also can... Imagine. Get on the bike, sir. <laughs> huh? I see. All right, let's go to the back, starting with you, Kingangi. Uh, and our purpose uh, is to help uh, young guys out there without school fees to have uh, a chance at education. Thank wow. you. My name is Mongala, Mongala Mbuvi. I'm an entrepreneur, an adventure motorcyclist, and um, it's great to do something, have impact when I ride. All right. Yep. Uh, my name is uh, David Mbaya. They know me as Chua. I'm Chua. in IT, yeah, Chua. Okay. That's my name in the biking circle. Do you want us circle. to know what that means? Or it's, it's uh, just my name, Chua. Chua. <laughs> yes, right. I'm known so, as Chua. Yeah. Sawa Chua. Yes, <laughs> I've been riding for a couple of years. Okay. I love to ride, and I'm looking forward to touring All the right. 47 counties. Okay. My name is Sami Karanja. I'm a lawyer. I have a passion to ride, and I want to raise funds to make sure that people are educated. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, good evening. My name is Kanja Asaf. Or better known as AK, I'm also <laughs> happy means, to be. Man. Yeah, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's good to be part of this, and it's nice to see young people get some good education, mm -hmm. reach their goals in life. Okay, yes. and last but not least. Uh, good evening. My name is Boro Ngoge, and uh, I sell insurance for a living, and I'm a family man, and I love riding riding motorcycles. I've ridden my motorcycle in 15 African countries. Wow. Yeah. But you don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really good. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining me tonight yeah. on Friday Briefing. Yeah. All right, so of course we've gotten to hear snippets of what Ride 47 is all about, but where did this come from? Uh, Pastor Nick, I'll start with you. Um, okay, Ride 47 is basically an idea uh, from a group of bikers, the bikers that you're seeing right here, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to do something more with what we love doing. And we love riding motorcycles. Mm -hmm. And um, we belong to a church here in Nairobi called Nairobi Chapel. And Nairobi Chapel has a scholarship fund uh, for students that are needy uh, to take them through high school and to take them through university. Uh, currently, the fund is educating 403 students. Wow. But we started already. already. Okay. And our vision is to be able to see 1,000 students be taken through high school and university uh, through the fund uh, itself. Right. Uh, so for us, when we started... Um, this initiative, it was about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we rode with this team mm -hmm. all the way to Cape Town wow. in South Africa and back. That was in 2013? That was in 2013. Okay. And we rode all the way to Cape Town and back. And just to add a few more mm -hmm. uh, to the scholarship fund. At that time, we had about 250 students. Now we have 403 students. Wow. And we'll keep riding around this country until we see 1,000 students go through university uh -huh. uh, because of the generous giving of many, many out there through an initiative like Ride 47. Wow. So it's just a motorcycle okay. tour around all the 47 counties of this country um, to be able to call upon anyone that wants to invest in education mm -hmm. to be able to give through the Logo Scholarship mm -hmm. Fund. All right, and so it's, that's what it is. And it's interesting that you chose something that you love. So you love what you're, you know, being on the bike, but you're also doing something um, with it. So does that mean that people in Nairobi Chapel, you know, have like a sort of like a liking or an inclination to, to, to bikes? Or is there another way that the church also comes in to support mm -hmm. this cause? Okay. The church does many things. Mm -hmm. um, the, they have... Um, different ministries 
involved in different activities. So this is just one of them. Okay. There are very many mm -hmm. such programs. Uh, but the church is a place where you come and you get actualized. You enjoy what, you, what God has given you the strength mm -hmm. and the ability to do, and then you use it to minister to others. All right. Basically. So, so when this idea started, were people like, okay, that, that sounds so crazy. I mean, uh, traversing the entire country, and first of all, even that trip to Cape Town, and then coming back and saying that you'll do it you know, locally, visit all the 47 counties. Mm -hmm. uh, some counties are um, you know, difficult roads, uh, mm -hmm. difficult circumstances. Did mm -hmm. it sound doable at that time when you started? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well, anything is doable. Um, initially, we had actually planned to ride to Egypt, mm -hmm. yeah. to Cairo. But because of the security situation in Egypt and uh, also it was a big problem to get our bikes into Egypt, mm -hmm. we, we changed and decided to ride around the 47 counties mm -hmm. of, uh, of Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, it's a challenge. Unless something is a challenge, then it's not worth doing. Okay. Uh, we, the roads are not really a problem. What is, what is more frightening is going to northern Kenya and meeting with Al-Shabaab or mm -hmm. an IED or something. Mm -hmm. Security is more of an issue mm -hmm. in some of the, of the counties. Mm -hmm. But we are going to make it to all the 47 counties. All and right. we are going to visit all the students that we are educating all over the country. So and we are going to raise this money to educate 1,000 students. All right. So let me ask, how does this work? So you, you, you know, you say you've gone to a county like uh, Turkana. Mm -hmm. How does it work? You write there. How does it? Do you take the money to some schools? Do you identify some schools that you go and uh, support? How mm -hmm. does it work? So basically, how it works is we currently have students in 33 counties okay. of Kenya. So we still have a few more counties where we actually don't have students. Mm -hmm. In this particular trip, we are riding to visit physically every single student that is currently in the Logo Scholarship oh, Fund. Wow. Okay. So to visit them, it's like a continuous visa okay. uh, in a high school, <laughs> to be able to affirm yeah. them, to be able to recognize them, to be able to appreciate them, mm -hmm. to be able to tell them that, that they will be great in their lives because we believe in them. Mm -hmm. um, so just to kind of encourage them where their education is concerned. Right. But we're actually going along with the Kubamba crew. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a large crew that is going along with the bikers uh, that are here so that we could go into new schools, schools that we don't have scholars, young people that don't yet know about the scholarship fund or young people that don't yet have hope in life and we just want to give them a sense of inspiration mm -hmm. and hope okay. as we uh, pass on that message um, you know of goodwill to them eh? okay. uh, so we we would like to do that to go to schools that we don't have scholars yet but also to go and visit our scholars so that's how it works every time we go to um, a county we visit mm -hmm. the scholars that we that we have but also we just go to other schools and be able to encourage we've also had opportunities to go to county headquarters okay. to visit the county executive in charge of education mm -hmm. to talk about ex education what is the county doing where education is concerned to pay a courtesy call to the governor and many governors have opened their doors to us mm -hmm. and said they support what we're doing and we're encouraging any other governor out there as we come to your county receive us let's together mm -hmm support and educate this and, generation. And talking about support, have you been getting support from Kenyans? I know you have an Mpesa uh, pay bill that you know, yeah. you, you know you're asking for contributions to go into these schools and these kids. Uh, how's the support been like? Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> I would say for... Do you for, want more money? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, all the money we can get is, will come to good use. Um, part of the challenge is we want to make this something that is self-financing so that we don't have to do a ride every year to educate the children. If we could build a big fund so that it's like an endowment or revolving fund so that more and more people can be reached, we will ride anyway. You will ride <laughs> but, anyway, yes, but yeah. yes. you want something mm. that is long term. Long term. All yes. right, let me go to the back there. And mm. Mongela, I'd like to hear what your best experience is with this whole uh, initiative so far. The one that had, you know, it was exciting, it was everything put in one. It's hard to describe one particular event where, mm -hmm. because it's been, a, it's been a, a trip where you actually get to meet the people who, you put a face to the people who are the beneficiaries of the scholarship fund. And you hear the stories, and you meet with their teachers, and you engage. And that has been really, really sort of eye-opening. Mm -hmm. There's a face, there's a story, there's a person. And that been, has been quite uh, an eye-opener. Traveling the country, it's amazing. We have a beautiful country. Mm -hmm. And we never really get to see how much, uh, much of it until we spend time 
and go enjoy the country. Right. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. I wish we could, all of us could go on this trip with you and see the sceneries that we haven't seen. But Chua, coming to you, what is um, the most difficult situation that you guys have found yourself in? I'm sure it's not, uh, you know, easy. <laughs> I've seen pictures yeah. online of some struggles. Um, what can you say is, has been your biggest challenge? And let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it chose me for that question. <laughs> Uh, but a personal, a personal challenge, I actually had an accident two weeks ago. Oh, wow. I fractured my shoulder. I'm still under bed rest. Mm -hmm. So I'm not able Paul to ride Sana. with the team. I'll, I'll just follow them by car. Uh, one challenge we faced with the schools is uh, school administration. They, 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 don't, they, don't, they don't want to let us in. Mm -hmm. They're not sure who we are. So at some schools, we have the challenges. But at the end of the day, we go through. So these schools, even after you explain yourselves and explain the cause, they still, uh, you know, don't want to engage. In fact, some some some, some schools, the problem starts from the gate. The gate, from the, the gate. gate tells us, yes, go back. Atumtaki apa. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Coming to uh, AKA. Yeah, very, another interesting <laughs> name. I think the interesting names are easier yeah. to remember. Uh, so. How much are you looking to raise? Of course, you want as much as you can, but is there a target that you're looking at right now? Um, <clears throat> when you think about a target, it's like you're already gagging somebody. Mm -hmm. So I would think as much as you can mm -hmm. give, we'll be happy to receive it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how is it uh, seeing lives transform? You know, these kids are coming from uh, disadvantaged uh, backgrounds, and then all of a sudden they have this access to education. What other kids have in, uh, say, Nairobi and any other counties? And here you're giving an opportunity to somebody who um, was spelt doom uh, on their lives. So how is that normally like? Uh, I would say there's one child who actually talked to me today, and he said that was in Upper Hill, eh? mm -hmm. and he was saying that, my situation is not my slavery. And by virtue of, by, because we managed to do this and come to them and they were able to receive the funds, mm. so they are able to concentrate on the education. Mm -hmm. Some, a lot of them are talking about the big uh, ambitions and goals they want to have, mm -hmm. they want to achieve. Uh, we've had very interesting uh, uh, what they want to become after school. Right. Uh, yeah, the, after finishing university. Mm -hmm. So they are very interesting goals that they have. So when you clear that out of their mind, they're able now to focus on their school. All right. Yeah. Pastor Mike, has, you know, is this open to other bikers or is it just bikers from uh, the church or anybody who else wants to join the cause? Um, it's open to any, any biker who is willing to do the ride. Mm -hmm. um, if you're available, if you have the time and you're adventurous, you're free to join us. Mm -hmm. yeah. But not all bikers can do this because not all bikes can tackle all terrain. Okay. So it's specific bikes that can do that. All right. Mm -hmm. And talking about uh, time, because you mentioned time, and that's, I'm, I'm sure that's something that is in many people's, mm -hmm. mind, people's mm -hmm. minds. Uh, does it mean that you've taken time off work, like taken a sabbatical to mm -hmm. do this? Or how does it work? Uh, let me just uh, <laughs> congratulate the men that you see mm -hmm. uh, right here because their fathers... Um, their husbands, their, they have families, they have businesses, they have employment. Some of them have taken time off employment to be able to dedicate that time to the ride. And it's, it's just amazing because we take three weeks on the road at a go, then come back and take a week break. Then we take another three weeks on the road, mm -hmm. then come back and take a week's uh, break. And that's a lot. Right. And each of them is self-financing the tour oh. as their investment into their lives of um, the young people that we hope to um, support. So every shilling that is given goes direct, direct. to the fund mm -hmm. and not, not to cater, to the not to cater for the, the ride itself. Okay. Each of these have already supported mm -hmm. uh, themselves and their friends have supported them to be able to be part of this ride. So I am totally indebted uh, to a sacrificial team like this that is committed to the cause and they have been part of it from the beginning. All right. um, so it's just amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll continue the conversation and get to hear uh, them take on the news. But uh, before